Good afternoon YouTube. Well some of you may recognise what's in the back of the van as a dive platform. So we've brought it in for the winter. So here we are and uh, like I say we've got the dive platform back from Polpero going to do some basic alterations to it and general maintenance for the winter um, <clears throat> you can see where the uh, you can see where it sits in the water there uh, I'm going to see how easy that comes off so we might have to invest in anti-foul but if it just if it just washes off with a pressure washer then I won't bother uh, yeah it was uh, it was pretty hard work getting all that apart and uh, in the back of the van but luckily I had uh, the help of a new recruit to the Treasure Divers channel and that's Dan from uh, Bodmin uh, a diver there, he's joined the team so he came over uh, yesterday with me and we uh, spent several hours dismantling this and putting it in the van I drove it back last night and uh, I'm going to unload it all now so you can see the uh, the tender we've got there, that little plastic boat, it's quite handy. As you can see by all this steel, it uh, because I didn't paint it, obviously a big mistake, but we were just desperate to get it in the water. To be honest, this was really a, a prototype just to check that my calculations for the pontoons were right and the buoyancy and everything. Um, so, uh, I think we're going to clean up that metal, paint it all, when we put it back together. Now there's the uh, outboard that we had to lay down. Uh, <clears throat> we observed manufacturer's instructions on laying it down, laid it down the right way. Because uh, it's a four stroke it's a bit harder to store. I'm always used to two strokes and you can just chuck them anywhere upside down, either way, anywhere you want. But with these obviously because there's uh, an oil filled sump in the engine. You have to be careful which way you lie it down. But I'm planning on making a nice stand for this engine in the next week or so. So you'll see a you'll see me making that in, in a future episode. Here's our little tender. Again, it's a, a fun yak, I think the make is, but it's plastic. Looks like it's rotational molded out of plastic. It's been a good little boat. <clears throat> it's quite handy having these inbuilt wheels on the back so we can just sort of pull it around. Uh, like last night we pulled it from the harbour up to the car park just by uh, lifting the front up and dragging it along.
So, uh, believe it or not, I'd um, I'd pull up in the van and I'd start speaking to somebody and uh, and we were chatting about diving and treasure diving. And they'd say, well, what's your website address? And I'd say, well, it's uh, there on the van. That's how you spotted me, treasuredivers.uk. And it still didn't really sink in. <coughs> the .uk is quite a... a a new type of uh, GTLD so uh, whereas in the UK we always used to have .uk no .co.uk it was always .co.uk but now we don't need to use the .co so we can just use the .uk which is so much easier but I still had to uh, recently invest in some www's to go on the top there just to uh, reassure people that this is the website address treasuredivers.uk Right, so that was a success anyway. Got rid of all that. Got a nice empty van again. Anyway, thanks for watching the latest update of Treasure Divers. Um, and keep in touch. Thanks very much. Bye.